We just talked about the line of storms while well, they ripped part of the roof off a Hidden Valley restaurant while people were inside eating. One of those folks told Genesis Narrows about the terrifying moments. <laughs> This was a much different picture of Friday night going into Saturday morning. Here we are two days later and you can see it's a temporary patch that's holding the top of this roof together. Thankfully, no one was hurt, but people were inside enjoying dinner Friday night during the time this all happened. The wind just picked up so quickly. Um, trees were blowing, uh, hail, and um, it was just, you know, that feeling like well, we really need to get downstairs. Have you ever seen anything like that in your life? <laughs> I have not seen anything come up that fast. It was so quick. Kathy Jeffcoat's Friday night was one of panic and shock. What started as a nice dinner with family and friends quickly turned chaotic as they watched part of the roof get ripped off during the storm. I mean, it was incredible. The, the doors of Willie's blew open. Um, we all went in the basement. Uh, it was it was very scary. As much as it was raining outside, it was raining inside the building. Steve Van Wassenhove says they were about 75 percent full when the rain started coming down, seeping into the corner of his restaurant. So we were able to get it tarped uh, the next morning when the rain left, maybe about 11 a.m., 12 p.m. when the rain kind of went out and they were able to safely get up on the roof. A long night and day of work led them to close Saturday as workers cleaned up the mess. They partially reopened Sunday for Father's Day. About 30 of the 230 seats in the restaurant will not be used until the roof is permanently fixed. COVID was hard enough and then we had some employee shortages and some supply chain shortages that we've been dealing with and has been tough enough. So this just kind of adds another chapter to that. Despite a tough year, he counts his blessings. It could have been a lot worse. And as for Jeff Coat, she says Friday night taught her a lesson. I just think that everybody needs to pay really close attention to their weather apps. <laughs> the crummy part about all this is the owner tells me they recently replaced the roof less than six months ago. Moving forward, they're going to work with their insurance to get a permanent fix. They tell me it's going to be about another month or two until they resume at full capacity. For now, reporting in Hidden Valley, Genesis Neros, Local 12 News. If you live in Indiana and had damage as a result of the storms Friday night and into Saturday, the Department of Homeland Security is urging you to call 211 and report it. It is partly for a damage assessment, but it can also connect you with services to help with recovery.